If you are using Protractor and want to know what your experience would look like if you were to migrate to something like Cypress, then this video is for you because the Cypress team has released a great tool called the Migrator specifically for this purpose and that is what we will walk through in this tutorial. So let's go. This tool is available at migrator.cypress.io and it fundamentally allows you to put in some code that you might have in the form of a Protractor test and see what the code would look like if you were using Cypress. There is already a pre-filled protracted test present over here and we can see what the output would look like if we simply press this Magnet to Cypress button. Cypress is very similar to Protractor in terms of test organization. It has the describe blocks as well as the it blocks but where the key difference lies is the API that you use to interact with the browser and to assert that some things are present or not. As a simple example, instead of using browser.driver.get to go to a particular URL, you simply use sci.visit. Additionally, at the bottom you can find the complete list of protractor migrations that this particular tool is doing. And this is a very useful resource to have for assertions, browser methods or anything else that you might need to migrate. Now if you go back to the main page of the migrator, there is one more resource that I want to point out and that is the protractor migration guide linked in the header. Now this guide is pretty comprehensive so I'm not going to repeat every single thing over here. But one thing that we can do over here is take some example of protractor code go back to the migrator, paste that into the body of the protractor test and you can see that if you press the migrate button, it gives us pretty much what we saw in that complete protractor migration guide. Now that you have an overall feel for this resource, feel free to play around with the playground, mess about with the protractor migrations and go through the protractor migration guide. I will leave links to these in the video description. That about wraps it up for this update in Cypress. Check out this particular tutorial if you are curious about getting started with Cypress 10. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.